In this exercise, we'll be drawing another set of stairs in two-point perspective. In order for this drawing to fit on the page, you'll have to use 11 by 17 paper. We'll begin by placing a vertical line in the center of the page. We'll establish the horizon line near the top of the page and add vanishing points on the left and right. Just below the horizon line, we'll divide the vertical measuring line into 10 one-foot sections in 3 8 inch scale. Now we'll create the first landing. On the bottom dash, we'll extend lines to the vanishing points left and right. Halfway up, or five feet, we'll do the same. Now we'll establish the width of the landing by drawing a vertical line. You don't have to measure, but it's important that the width is twice as large as the depth in proportion. So the final result is a large rectangular platform or landing. Now we'll draw in the upper landing, and to do this, we'll draw vertical lines up from the corners. Now we'll draw a line from the first dash on the vertical measuring line to vanishing point two on the right. Where these lines intersect, I'll draw another line to the left to vanishing point one. Where this line crosses that vertical line, I'll go back to vanishing point two. Now that we've established both landings, let's draw some stairs to connect them. To do this, we'll begin by subdividing the lower landing. We'll draw lines corner to corner, and then draw a vertical line in the center. Now we'll map out the position of the lower stairs. To do this, we'll draw a line from the corner of the landing and from the middle of the landing from vanishing point one. Now establish where the first step will end and draw that line to vanishing point two. You don't have to measure using a scale ruler, but keep in mind the proportions. Try to recreate the proportions I have here in this drawing. Now we'll establish the rise of the first step by drawing vertical lines from the corners. Now we'll extend these dashes from the vertical measuring line to the vertical line on the first step using vanishing point one. Here I'm extending that vertical line a little bit more. This will help us determine each step as we move forward. Now we'll establish the top step of the bottom stairs. And to do this, I'll draw a line from this dash to vanishing point two until it crosses that center vertical line. 
Now I'll determine the slope of the stairs by drawing a diagonal line from the top step to the bottom corner. And I'll do the same on the other side. Now we'll draw in each individual step using these guidelines. We'll start with the vertical, go to the vanishing point, and where it crosses that diagonal, we'll do another vertical, back to vanishing point one, where it crosses that diagonal, do another vertical, and so on. We now have the left side of the stairs all mapped out. So let's bring it over to the other side. To do this, we'll extend lines from the corner of each step to vanishing point two, making sure we cross that other diagonal line on the other side. I'll draw a line from the top corner of the first step to vanishing point two until it crosses that other vertical line. And where those lines intersect, I'll bring that line to vanishing point 1 until it crosses that diagonal line. Then I'll complete the first step by drawing another line to vanishing point 2 to connect them. I'll continue this process all the way up the stairs. I'll draw that vertical line in. Draw a line from the corner to vanishing point 2. And where they cross, I'll go back to vanishing point 1. Then I'll complete stair number 2 by drawing a line from that corner to vanishing point 2. Just repeat this process for the remaining two steps. Now we'll map out the steps between the first landing and the second landing. We'll do this by dividing that first landing in half, using the vertical line from the face as a reference. And we'll also extend that vertical line straight up. Using the remaining dashes on the vertical measuring line, We'll extend these lines to the vanishing point. Again, we'll determine the slope of the stairs. We'll do this by drawing a diagonal line from the front of the stairs to where the last step ends. Now we'll map out the steps. We'll do this by doing a vertical line, a line to the vanishing point, another vertical line, back to the vanishing point, and so on.
Now we'll transfer these steps over to the other side. I'll begin by drawing that vertical line. Then from the corner of the first step, I'll go to vanishing point one. Then at the top of the steps, I'll do the same. Draw a line to vanishing point one. Now I'll draw a diagonal line to indicate the slope of the stairs from the bottom corner of the first step to the top of the step. Then from this corner, I'll go to vanishing point two. From this corner, I'll go to vanishing point one. And where they cross on that diagonal, I'll put a vertical Go back to the corner, draw a line to vanishing point one. This line to vanishing point two. Connect them. Draw another vertical line, and so on, until you reach the top of the steps. Now I'll verify the shape of the steps by darkening the lines. Now I'm just shading the stairs using a computer program, but if you were doing it by pencil, you would still use three different tones. You can give it a try if you want. We'll start to shade some of our drawings as we move forward. This will give our drawings a lot more dimension and visual interest.